previously on Madcap doesn't know how to play this game, I said that there wasn't anything left to do in Santa Monica. And that's not, strictly speaking, true. Because there is one more thing that I could do in Santa Monica right now, ignoring all this stuff, because this is just plain old wrong. But I'm not going to do that, because I don't really have an excuse to go back there right now. Instead, we're going to go ahead and solve the region's riddle. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. Hmm. That's weird. That's a weird thing up there. I wonder what that could possibly be. Let's go find out. La 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 la. Hello. Greetings, Neolate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Blood magics and betrayal! She's magic! Ah, a child of Malkan, yes. <laughs> Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? What was that? It was Shattered magic. reflections oh. of your clan father's mind. The glass is cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate. More than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence, to see through the shadowy veil into the we world love beyond. On your head, an iron crown that just dances before you. you. <laughs> hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, yep. accepting of it than I am. <laughs> Well, tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this... Okay, that was totally not your name before you were embraced. You, you picked that when you became a, a dude. Anyway, um... A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. A regent. a regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Reveal these mysteries. Sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay, fine. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. <laughs> yes, well, the problem about that is, you know, I'm cray-cray. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Mmm. Nurgle. It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. I would imagine that they would be. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Mm, tell me more and about these passions. For the watchful eye of the I'm getting Merovingian vibes. No, not Merovingian vibes. Architect vibes from this guy. Ergo, concurrently, consequently, forthwith. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. Uh, all right, I shall do this deed. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. Splendid. What is the Camarilla? The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Uh, all right, I'm no longer here. I have no wish to debate politics with you, my good sir. That is a very nice painting that you have. 
I wonder if YouTube will get mad at me because, yes, there were definitely boobs in it. Heavily pixelated boobs, but boobs nonetheless. Ah. Hello again. I am no longer here. Right turns to get out of here? Nope. Is it this way? Aha. Yes, the, the Chantry is a nice, cute little maze in it to confuse you. Assuming that you can't think with portals. Hmm, that is a very interesting piece of graffiti on the wall over here. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Know what I mean? Say no more, say no more. Hello? Huh. Um... People in hazmat suits that I can't actually talk to. Pity. Okay. Now, I would like to top off on some blood. And that's going to mean. Oh, well, here's a soup. Your uh, homeless companion is not following you, right? Nope. Great. Excellent. You're mine now. God, you people drain so quickly. Alright. Uh, are we sure there's not a way here to... Well, I'm going to turn the subtitles on because chances are I'm going to have to either just mute or distort the video substantially uh, in this next section just because of how loud the music is. I can't actually talk to you. That's very weird. Ah, uh, you are the damsel of distress, yes. Hijack. The only words spoken were in my head. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you knocks call a brain, does it? Look, we can't be persuaded from our present course of action if we don't have brains to persuade. We make excellent minions this way. Fuck you, whack jaws! That kid through your skull! What? Where'd you say that? Yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. You are as schizophrenic as me. A plague bearer of Nurgle, obviously. It doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on men start spreading disease. And if you're sick, it's an epidemic. CDC is in town as we speak. Uh, okay. See an old yeller? They sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of blood-borne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearers gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Yes, that makes sense. Um, my neck owes the deck to you people. What, what do you want me to do? Name's Paul. Lives nearby in the Sky and Apartments. Well, as it happens, I need to go there anyway. Looked like Deck last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. All the way down, yeah! Um, okay, I will touch the school in his mind's secret places. Wait. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. You are being very cooperative for someone who told me to go fuck myself a couple of minutes ago. Um, I will spread my mind. See you, damn sale. Yes, indeedy. Gentlemen. You know, I'll have you know I came here before I went to see the prince. Yes, sir. What the hell did you say? No, I'm not Malkavian. I just dress this way for fun. Greetings, Helter Skelter. And, um, uh, why do you curse the camera? 
Their rules are just common sense shit. That's the real Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You're the Ten Commandments, don't you? Um, thou shalt not kill. Oh, no, wait, I've done a lot of that. Thou shalt not steal. Oh, well, unfortunately. <laughs> um. Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you would leave both know that you don't always kill. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn command? Yes, um. Your words wear truth like a well-fitted truss. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. Man, I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam. I was in Nam. Drink. Real oppression. Uh. Anarx, we are the only ticket to free living in the afterlife. Uh. Do 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 do. Do you also have handle? I need to bear my things and feel good about myself. Okay, so you don't have a problem with what they stand for, just how they do it. You know, speaking of the master rail, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, come on, tell me the answer. There's this girl who Oh my god! <laughs> I just got that. I just got that. I'm sorry. Um... I'm gonna have to go back and dub that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and dub that in the uh, in the edit. You know, speaking of the master rail, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out. Tell me, tell me, tell me, come on, tell me the answer. Uh, what is the name of this ghoulish girl? She hangs out of the clubs. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. Oh, fun and games is what a vampire sugar daddy is out called. Uh, well, the sure daddy has lost his sweetness. I know what that's like. There are voices in my head that don't listen to me. Uh, alright, what dark deeds needs to be done? Hockey dokey. Uh, I will serve. Right. I'd love to do this with myself, but I know it's not. This many things to do. All right. So that's that done. Uh, you. Well, well, look at who made it back in one piece. I'm Santa Monica, you know. Well, um, I the lady was sad and beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. Eyebrows. Oh, you better believe I did. Right as red rain. Alright, tell me the politics. Stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. <laughs> Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. Mm, technically, I was out there because some madman decided to turn me into a vampire, and then somebody else decided to send me to Santa Monica instead of cutting off my head. Um. Well, wow. Well. This guy's not doing a good job waging war against the Sabbat, but. Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vets who are born in a program. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Alright, um. Yeah, man, it's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. So... Croy is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. 
<laughs> McCroy is a boss. <laughs> That's rich. He said funny. That said rich. Uh... The facts are like this. The camera really need us to buy in their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Congratulations, you've lived through. They need to be ruled a hard sell. You've so, lived through political science 101. Play nice and play. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Okay. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> you said you guys let those sabat go too. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that gun? So why does he keep trying to save me? Uh, he was left tireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Right, he's got a thing for the little guy. Alright. You're free to choose who you trust, kid. Sure thing, kid, will fire away. Uh, tell me about the annex. Uh, who leads them? Much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy, takes the politics a little too seriously. Came up during the Great Depression, so they might be quiet to that shit. Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nines crew. Alright, I'm out. Uh, the man himself. He showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. What are you doing right now? Just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. You got a right to know the score. In Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top of God only knows what plots in line. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power, then those kindred sired for their own students, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out just this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Correctamundo. Um... LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just a guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming the king son of a bitch of all the local camera. Him and any of the traitors decide who the camera want power here, they'll get what's due. Well, let me hear the truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An honor free state. Uh, so the they have been lot. here. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Um. Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence now. I fought to keep that life free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most betting soul on the battlefield. Okay. I got that meeting right here. Okay. LaCroix represents everything I hate. I don't seem to be able to get out of this conversation without annoying this guy. This may have been a mistake. That... <laughs> and that, um... Apostrophe does not belong there. Anyways, um... The hell with you, then. What? You go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no-good, two-faced, backstabbing, would-be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. He and his camera are on borrowed time. You tell him Nines Rodriguez said so. Uh... Now, I reloaded and did this entire conversation again to try to get him to like me more, but I guess that just wasn't in the cards. And I'm not going to show that to you because, frankly, this scene has already been annoying enough to try to edit for copyright reasons. So, moving on. Okay, well, I guess I cannot actually make that guy... I can't make that guy like me, apparently. Okay. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. I like you. And that'll do us. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, is this... Can I just jump here? Oh, yes, I can. Great. 
starts, and I am gone. Can I talk to... No, I can't get past you. I would love to talk to the barman, but that's just not going to happen. So as we've implied here, we've just gone and picked up a couple more quests. Hurrah, haru. Yeah, make Patty disappear. Find... Go to the Skyline Apartments. That's, what, that's where we're going to totally have to do. Um, so let's go ahead and make that our next stop. No, you step. No, you step. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Lol. Oh. There's fighting going on here for some... Reason. This guy just. Sure, why not? I have done going down a dead end, haven't I? Hello. Baby girl, I saw you come from down the street and I started praying to the Lord to find it in his heart to send you to me and hallelujah if he didn't come through for me. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Man. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because there's more of me to love. Yes. I am powerless from resisting your bizarre mobile. Delight. Oh, man, you been feeding on a rock, girl? No, 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 baby. I don't sell none of that no more. <laughs> yeah, got some crazy eyes on me. I'm going slightly oh, mad. I'm going slightly mad. Hey, so you like to pipe. Didn't say I wouldn't sell you nothing. Chill. Take this gear I got. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this is something that I'm going to want because it has armor. Also, you have an axe. Yes, okay. I'm going to need to sell you some things. Starting with. No. I cannot sell you the steak. Damn. Computers for grandma. Did I not read this? I must not have read it. Fool. Selling you the ring. Yes. Yeah, kind of useless. More fine. There we are. Um, I can sell you the knife because I can get more knives. Ho ho. Um, and that's not going to get me enough money. Diamond blast. We're going to have to go do some side quests. Spare con knife. Told you I could get another knife. Uh, righty. Skyline Apartamentos. Okay, we have a Milligan on floor one. Um, mm, yes. So, we want to go, there's a guy on 2A who is Miltone. So that's where our work going to go first. To floor dos. Away we go. Lockpings builds low difficulty 5. Well, we could tap a blood buff and try to get in here this way. Hiya. There we go. Speaking of, um, ah, I do have 6 experience points, uh, which it may make sense to start putting experience points into things. Unfortunately, the next thing that I want is going to be this obfuscate. Um, yeah. So, this is a lockpick, which is already nice and improvemented. Okay. Let's not bother with that then. Anyways, we're in this apartment. Car stereos. 
Mr. Melton. You know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar, but to the Bring your You're no team. Mr. Durb, as it is a two-man job, and I have proposed a nice day. No. I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. Going under the underpass. Piece of cakeies. Hello? Okay. Inventories. Yes. Um, we should read that. Oh no, I need a research skill of at least five. Hold that thought. Research is four. If I were to put points in intelligence, say four points in intelligence, I would get... Boink. A research skill of five. There we are. Now... I need a melee of a... <laughs> this is just rude. This is just rude. Okay. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Thank you. Alright, going up. This is locked. I cannot get in here. This makes me want to get in here. Alright, so floor six is a no-go. How about floor five? This is open. Bueno. Hello. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Just call and oh. see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Okay. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. All these doors that open both ways, it's very weird. No doors behave like this in real life. Alright, well. Um, that would be useful if... She's in a apartment in the Skyline building. Her code is 1203. Okay. The fact that she's in an apartment in the Skyline building was not gleaned from that message. However... Well, this is nice looking. Floor three. Have I been here before? Mr. Melton. Yes. Okay. Trying floor number CX. And okay, one two oh three we said. One two oh three. Boom. Entre. Uh. Oh. Boston. Excuse me. This is a safe key. Stranded. Hello. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> what? Blinded. <laughs> I have dementated you. Yes. Oh, Paul, you say the most beautiful uh, things. The sweetest little spider. You know how speech. I got sick? <coughs> how sweet of you to ask. 
Her name is Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Did you dance with the spider? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember uh, a whole lot about the Oh. Night, <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know? I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <coughs> well, the next thing that's clear <coughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <coughs> and I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <coughs> tell me the kind of dancing okay, you do. Okay, okay. I'm a professional escort. Figured. Nothing wrong with that. She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <laughs> Paul, I really liked you. You were so nice to me the other night. I don't, I don't meet a lot of guys like you. All right. I hope so. I really do. Goodbye. Oh boy, I am almost out of blood now. This is bad. Um, do you have anything in here that might conceivably help? Oh, appointment book. In wintry, I've got the diary of a call girl. Arthur Kilpatrick. Vandal B. Pliers in a blowtorch. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. Simon Milligan. Jezebel Luck. Okay. So, Simon Milligan in the first apartment. Let's have a look at you. Uh, actually, can I... No, those are locked. Okay, so we'll just have to take the elevators. That's fine. Fantastic moral shortcomings. Blood buff. I cannot use blood buff. I'm out of the blood, but... Damn. Alright, let's go back up to floor two and see if we can break into the apartment from above, then. Okay. Back into this... Enormous air duct. And down to floor one we go. And this opens lovely. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing. And more nothing. And a camera. Ooh, nice. And this is... Oh, hello. Photo and a computer email e email ectoplasm haunted LA upcoming shows show seventeen hospital horror. Cemetery in Hollywood, yeah, well, wouldn't you know? Alright, whatever. Uh, inventory. I got a photo. A blurry photo of what looks like an Asperatu. Really? I wonder what I can do with this. Alright, that's treasure hunting in the Skyline Apartments taken care of. Need blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, alright. We'll, we'll get on that. Don't you worry. I have a plan. I have a cunning plan. It's called I'm going to find a hobo and drain them dry. No 
one's running around back there. I was really hoping there would be somebody wandering around back here, but alas. Not really that much of a problem. What are you? Why are you here? You people have no blood. It's very annoying. Boot, Senator Robert Thorne. Oh, people are behaving very strangely here. Let's go check in on His Royal Highness. Woohoo! Night shift! Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Louis. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of the Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Plot twist. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Okay. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me. Uh, all right, I will stitch your name in my brain. Goodbye. La, 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 la. Your royal princiness. I must speak. We must have words. Hello. How are you? There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Of course. Boom. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Uh... Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. Then why did you they send a fool? A genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Ah, uh, when you say jump, I say, where's the cliff? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks, there have been whispers. Rumors spreading around the Kindred community. Do I look like I was in the military? The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Ah. Uh, the police are investigating the game as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran sarcophagus. Now. I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. 
and more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. Ankaran sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And okay. the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Of, of course. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Uh, blah, blah, blah. If woof, I may woof. give you a piece of advice, <laughs> always listen to others' words carefully. Read between the lines, gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, the greater your advantage. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the day. Um, I have streets Good. to meddle in. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. Yeah. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Don't open it. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Oh, I have to go thing. back to Santa Monica. You've been careless lately about maintaining the masquerade. Yes, I have. See that you don't attract any more attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do my best with that, sir. All right. Well, that was that. Um. So next, we're going to have to either do some side quests here or deal with the Elizabeth Dane. Yeah. I'm kind of voting for side quests. <laughs> Frankly, we need the money. What on earth is going on over here? Lots of violence. Well, at any rate, that'll do us for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Look, I'm a lover and a dancer. And now a word from our sponsor, me! <laughs> do not steal my girlfriend! No, we can't have the aliens calming down. That's not how this game is played. There we go. They're mad again. As they should be.